Hey, my name is Josh Bess. I'm an Ableton certified trainer and instructor over here at DubSpot. What I'm gonna show you guys today is how to control lighting within Ableton Live and how to perform on stage doing this all by yourself. I've always wanted to incorporate more than just music into my live shows. I wanted to do this specifically with live visuals and lighting. And I wanted to do this in a way which had a similar workflow to my live performance, which is very free and open. I'll have a starting and ending idea of how I want to go about each song, but everything in between is very open to change depending on where I'm playing or how the crowd is reacting to everything, which all plays a large role in how I go about playing my tunes throughout a full show. And I needed something that allowed me to manipulate the structure and sound of each song while at the same time all these movements were being controlled and controlling the visuals as well, having everything work together in one fluid system in the end. So getting started with all this is really simple. It's just a simple MIDI to DMX connection. And what we're going to be using for that is our MIDI to DMX converter. In this case, we're using a DMX's NTEC, which is converting the MIDI from Ableton Live, going straight into the conversion, going out of the interface, which is going straight to our RGB LED lighting fixture. Now, DMX is basically a communication network, which is used very commonly today to control tons of lighting, that's a main thing that people are using today for live lighting shows, is mainly DMX. So being able to control it straight out of Ableton is a really powerful feature to have straight in your computer now. To get started with all this, we're going to be bringing up our DMX software mixer. This is going to be a VST, and to open this, we're going to go straight into our new Live9 plugin browser. We're going to head over to our VSTs, I'm going to go in here and drag in our DMX's VST software mixer. I'm going to drag it into a MIDI clip. Basically, what this is is a DMX's mixer. And usually a, light, a lighting guy would have this in the back of a club. They'll be moving their faders around. And what this is able to do is now control all of this straight within Ableton Live. For example, I can move up this first fader. And you can see right away it starts doing some lighting movements. I can go through just different colors, different changes, and I go through different chase modes, all from controlling these faders. And there's a special feature in here, which is your RGB mode. And this allows me to control my red, my green, and my blue straight from faders 2, 3, and 4. So you create nice color mixes, create different fades within each other, and you can do this all manually straight within the software. So what we want to do now is not really focus too much on the VST plugin. I want to do this straight in Ableton Live. So what I'm going to do is open up this toggle switch. And when I hit this configure button, I can now click on any of these parameters. And you can see on the bottom, they're all appearing. When I exit the configure mode, simply I can move these faders. And you can see that I'm actually controlling the faders straight within the software mixer. So you get some nice, easy access to your VST. So with this open, I can now move this fader. And you can see if I go up to 85, I know that's my RGB mode. So now I can move these faders over here to control red, green, and blue straight out of Ableton Live. All right, so what we want to do now is write in our automation. And I want to do this. I want to write it all out manually using a pencil tool, for example. So I want to do this in my arrangement view. So what I want to do is actually first bring in some music for us to work with to do this. I'm going to head into my user library, which is a new library within Ableton Live 9. And I'm going to head over to my clips. And I'm going to drag these audio clips in, which are just parts of my own tune. And I want to work straight in the arrangement view. So what I'm going to do is actually click on this clip, hold it down, press the tab key, and go straight into my arrangement view. And I can actually drag this whole clip straight into there. I'm going to close up my browser just for some extra space. And you can see the whole clip is now in there. So we're going to take a listen to what we'll be working with. All right, so you can hear that the first half of this repeats throughout the second part. So what we could do is actually just throw our loop race on and just work on the first half of this song. 
what I want to do now is draw my automation straight in my arrangement view for this clip. And I want to have full control over what I'm working with and see everything. So what I'm going to first do is right click down here. You can see it says show automation new lane. I'm going to click on this and you can see all of these parameters are now opening up straight in my arrangement view. So I could open these up a bit so we have some more space to work with. And turn this off to none so I don't see the automation up there. So I'm going to go and grab my draw tool. And what I'm going to do is draw an automation on my channel 2 right here, which is going to be controlling my red light in my RGB light. And an automation is allowing me to draw in any info that I want to create the movement for this light that I want to automatically repeat for myself. So I'm going to play this back and draw in this automation in real time. All right, so I like the way this looks. I'm going to take off my pencil tool. And what I'm going to do now is click on this automation node over here. And what this is going to do is create a slope. Now, you can see over here, whenever the light goes, it's going to flash hard. But whenever it gets to the slope, it's going to dim out. And it's going to fade out for me nice and easy. So what I'm going to do is hold the Option key and create an automation curve, which is a new feature in Ableton Live 9. By dragging up or down, you can see I'm just creating this nice smooth curve. So let's play this back and see how this is looking. Okay, so what I want to do now is copy this automation straight to my green light as well. So what I could do is highlight this whole section, press copy with Command C, hotkey, go right in there, Command V, and paste that. And you can see it's actually going to be the same automation for my red light and my green light. All right, and now I'm just going to take some pieces of this, throw it to the blue light, and just keep this going. So you can actually see now that all the automation that's drawn in is actually moving down here. So you can see all the movement that's going on in real time. So now that we have all this in, you can see it's only on half of the clip. So what we want to do now is highlight all of this, and I can actually duplicate this with Command-D. And when we play this back, you can see that it'll actually be in sync with the entire clip. All right, so now that we have all of our automation for that clip, we can now form all this together, combine it into one segment. And to do this, we're going to just highlight this section over here. And what I could do is hit Command-Shift-M, which is the hotkey for creating a MIDI clip. And you can see now that I can actually take this clip and drag it around. It actually moves all of the automation together as one unit. So it acts as any other MIDI clip. I could change the color of it down here by right clicking. I could rename this, I'll call it part one lighting. And what I could actually do now is click, press tab, and drag this into my session view. So what I could actually do is now perform with this in real time during my live sets. So I could launch a scene. And you can see in the clip, all the automation is actually brought over straight into the clip, which is a new feature of Live 9. So this is just one way for us to draw in our automation and control lighting. And we cover many creative methods for creating automation here at the Ableton Live courses at DubSpot. We cover just going straight over the RGB mode, which once again is the red, green, and blue modes. Allows me to have full parameter control over the three color lights. 
So what I want to do now is focus on a different way of doing this. And I'm going to be moving my fader 1, which is my mode changes. Basically, I'm going to be able to jump through the different settings of this lighting fixture. And this is this specific light. If you have something different, it's not going to work in the same way. So for example, you'll go through 1 through 5. You'll have straight up just your flat colors. You go through like 7 through 10, you'll have different color chases. You'll go through higher numbers, you'll have different scenes moving. So this just controls different parameters of this specific lighting fixture. So what we're going to do now is work with part two of this song. So what I'm going to do is click, press tab, and drag this into my arrangement view. So to save some time, I already have this new clip open for us where I already did some programming. So we could take a look at this. All right, so you could see right now that it's actually having a different effect. I can actually move this piece right over here, and you can see I'm actually going through all the different modes, where, if you remember, I'm moving fader 1 of my software mixer, which creates an effect. Every time I move this to a different piece, it's moving this fader down here, which is controlling all the different chases. So what I could do is very similar to before, take this piece, press tab, and I'm going to be dragging this MIDI clip straight into my session view. So what I could do now is launch my scenes. And you can see it's this, it works the same as before. I have all my automation straight in the clip. It was brought over straight from the arrangement view right to the session view. This allows you to do so much in your live sets now. You don't have to focus so much on what you're changing and like what you're automating. It's just there for you straight in front of you in your live set. You can just launch your clips, your scenes, and you're good to go. It has everything synced up in real time for you. So those first two ways were how I write in my automation manually. And this is all done in the arrangement view. What I want to do is now take this over to the session view and do this in real time. For me personally, I like doing this because it gives more of a human feel to the automation. It lets you just feel like you're working a little bit more with the music, especially during a live show. So what we're going to do now is map the APC40 straight to this plug-in device. So I'm going to have full control over these parameters in real time. What I want to do is now clip on my, click on my MIDI map mode switch. And when I click on any of these parameters and move the knob on my APC, you can see right over here the information is already written in there. So I could click on this, drag this knob. And for 3 and 4, I'm actually going to map these to the same knob. So I have my green and blue lights moving together with one knob movement. So I'm going to exit MIDI mapping. So now when I move these knobs, you see I'm moving fader 2 and moving 3 and 4 with the use of just one knob. So to record straight into our session view clips, we're going to have to click on our automation arm button over here. And by shift clicking on my session view record button, I'm now arming the track. So what I could do now is launch these two clips over here. I'm just going to hold shift and highlight those. And then when I launch this clip, it's going to give me my count in and then I could record my automation. So now you have full control over editing all the parameters that you just recorded straight in real time. I hope this helped you out building your lighting rig with Ableton Live. If you want any more information on Ableton Live, check out the courses here at DubSpot. I'm Josh Best. Thanks for watching. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. 
With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.